Hey everyone, it's Suffer and I'm back with another video. So, uh, quite some time ago now, Casey uploaded a video of her doing the painting with coffee challenge. And that really inspired me to redo my painting with coffee video because I did one um, a long time ago where I basically just painted the background with coffee and then I painted on top of that with watercolors. But I wanted to do one that was just completely done in coffee because I loved the one that Casey did. It turned out really cool, so I got really inspired. Uh, and that's a long time ago now too. Um, but I finally got a hold of some coffee because I, um, I didn't have any and none of my roommates drink coffee. So I'd been meaning to like to find some coffee somewhere and it just took me a long time apparently. So here I'm just sketching out the thing I want to paint with the coffee and it is a girl who is very sleep deprived and she really needs coffee. I think she might be an artist. You can see the pencil behind her ear. Yeah, because uh, I don't know about you guys, but me and all of my artist friends are always super tired. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's like an artist thing to always be really smashed. I myself don't drink coffee, um, as I said before. But, so I, I can't really relate, but I can relate to the whole being super, super tired thing. <laughs> when I first started painting the actual painting with the coffee, I was like, wow, this goes on really smoothly and nicely, like watercolors or something. I have tried to paint with coffee once in the past, a long, long time ago. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any experience with it and I'm not the best at watercolors. Um, so I, I ended up doing some weird things and all of the things that you're not supposed to do with watercolors. So, um, if you're like an actual real watercolor artist, please, please don't judge me. Something totally unrelated that I want to uh, comment on is that the lighting in, in this video is just horrible. I don't, if you've been here for a while, you know that that's kind of like my trademark to make, um, super badly lit videos. Um, but it kind of gets darker and darker um, because I was losing the daylight because here it gets dark at around maybe three or four o'clock. Um, not totally dark, it just starts to get darker to a point where I can't use the natural light for filming. So I had to turn on my lamps and then it gets yellow. I mean, we, we've been through this, we talked about this. Uh, you, you all know that my lamps aren't very good for filming and I need to get some other ones. And I thought that I could do all of this painting before the sun went down, but I forgot that you kind of have to let everything dry when you're painting with water-based mediums. So yeah, the, the lighting will get really horrible and as a result of that, the quality of the actual video will get um, very bad as well. Uh, so I very much do apologize. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to, to film things when I do traditional art. Uh, be because I thought I knew stuff about cameras and lighting, but it turns out I don't. So that's always nice, yeah. And now we're at the part that's just horrible to look at. It looks like it was filmed with a potato, so I'm gonna skip ahead. There we go, now it's kind of better. It's still kind of yellow and not like true colors. And I, I don't know how to fix it. Um, I'll have to get some white light bulbs. Uh, but I, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take me some time to, uh, to find white light bulbs, I think. I also found out that I can change the white balance setting to be for artificial light. And that helps, uh, to not make it as yellow, but it's still kind of yellow. So I'll have to look into that. Okay, enough complaining. Let's get on with the art. So at this point I was thinking, why does everyone find it so hard to get a dark uh, shade of coffee? Because I was like, I just don't mix as much water and it works totally fine. It, it goes down really nicely. Um, that was until it started to dry and it was just sticky. And I remembered 
um, that the more concentrated your coffee is, the more sticky it'll get. And it basically never dries. It'll be sticky just like forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just had to like suck it up and accept that. So now I am doing the outlines. And I was so close to just grabbing a brown brush pen and doing the outlines with that because I didn't want to outline with a brush because I'm a I'm not very good at traditional art. Um, and I didn't know if I could get the coffee to be dark enough for my liking. Um, but I, I stopped and I looked at myself and I said, Sof, come on, this is a coffee challenge. You can't just bring other mediums in there. I, kn I know I had brown pencil in the beginning, but you, can, you can't even see it anymore. It was, it was just kind of a, a guideline. Um, so I did the outline in coffee and I'm very happy that I did because I feel like it adds to to like the splotchy uh, unpredictableness of <laughs> the coffee style uh, because the lines aren't the same thickness and some of them are darker than other lines and I feel like that gives it a really nice feel. I also felt like when I started to add the outlines is when the piece really came together because the whole time I was laying down flat colors, I was looking at the original sketch and I was just like, this is not the same. It doesn't have the same feel. Um, but when I got the outlines in there, it got this messy and, and more like my style kind of feel, uh, if that makes any sense to anyone. <laughs> So I'm very, very happy with the outlines. And I also love the effect that all of the loose strands of hair give because it just makes her look so messy and tired. And in the end, I decided that I wanted to put like a coffee cup ring around her. Um, and I was contemplating taking like a big bowl and dipping it in coffee and putting it on top. But then I would have to mask her off so she didn't get any of the... It, it was just... Um, yeah, more difficult than it had to be. So I decided to just paint it on there and it doesn't look as real, but I think you kind of, you understand what it's supposed to be. And of course you can't have a coffee painting without drips or splatters of some sort. So I added some drips and for some reason it was really hard to make the coffee actually run down into the drips. Uh, so I kind of cheated and painted some of them on there. Uh, don't, don't tell anyone. Oh my god, here's my artist hands, because we're almost at the end of the video now, and here is the finished piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, I had a lot of fun making this, and I really like the way that it turned out. So that's about it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later.